Welcome. Welcome to Tuesdays with Suzanne. Today, we will be working with the topic of how to remain grounded, how to remain full during times of enduring challenge. Enduring challenge. We all have these times in our lives. We all have times where something that should fix itself has not, something that isn't right, hasn't gone away yet. And we still need to know how can we remain full? How can I return again and again to the oasis of who I am? And how can I ground in a way that sustains me, that sustains me? I think this is a very important thing to work with. And I use this particular tool that we're going to be exploring today in times when, for instance, you're sitting with someone in hospice and there are still, you're still days away from when the person who is dying will be ushered out, or there are enduring things happening in the world that are not right, that we can't fix in our own inimical civilian way. There are things that can't be fixed yet. We can continue to send energy and love and compassion and strength, but they're still there. In those times, how do we sustain ourselves so that we can remain the beacon of light. We can remain the oasis where the well of who we are remains full and primed. Okay? The basic answer for that is that in times like this, I have to make sure I am grounding much more deeply than I might normally do. And we're going to explore that today. We are going to explore the process of allowing yourself to connect more and more deeply into the earth until you find places and of, of sustenance and, I don't know, sometimes it's a, an area in the earth where there might be more water, where there might be more granite, where there might be richer soil, so that when you're your connection, be it roots, light beams, rivers, however you do it, when it makes the arrival at that part of the earth, some part of you goes, oh, okay, I'm home, I'm home. Here I can stay. Here I can be present with myself. And it doesn't challenge me. The, everything going on above the water line above the, the earth, above in our bodies, in the environment around us, can't shake me, can't shake me, yeah. We did a presentation, we did a Zoom call with our colleagues in the Ukraine uh, last week. And what we found, as those of us that are, are very well versed in working with the grounding process, what we found is by the end of the call, and there were many challenges in the call, by the end of the call, when I shared this with other people afterwards, they felt like they were mountains, like they had gone so deep in the connection to the earth that the sensation in our bodies was solid, as though we were mountains that people could lean on and that were steady, 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 steady. Okay, so we're going to practice with that process this morning so that any of you that have enduring situations of any kind can work with this process that we're going to talk about today. Okay, so get comfortable. I'm noticing I need to get my pillow a little better. There we go. Yeah, feet, soles of your feet on the ground, allowing yourself to get comfortable. Your back is supported so you can relax. And when you're ready, allow your eyes to close, your curiosity to come on board. And begin to follow your breath with your awareness, the sensations of breathing. However you're breathing, just simply noticing your breath. Yeah. Noticing the temperature of the air as it enters your nostrils. Being curious about the rise and fall of your chest as you breathe. 
your ribs rising and falling. Yeah. And on your next inhale, noticing your belly and the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. Hmm. Ah, and how about your sitting bones on the chair or whatever's supporting you? Good. Allowing your awareness to drop a little lower into your legs. Your thighs, your knees, your calves. Yeah. All the way down into the soles of your feet, resting on the ground, wherever you are. The floor, the carpeted surface, the earth itself, the sand if you're sitting on the beach. Shoes on, shoes off whatever's most comfortable for you, feeling the sensation of how our, the soles of our feet rest with no effort on the earth because of the earth's gravitational field. It's holding us all the time. And then allowing yourself to drop deeper and deeper into the earth, making a connection that feels safe and comfortable for you this morning. You might love the imagery of putting down a light beam deep into the earth. Or you might enjoy the feeling of, of growing roots down into the earth. Or of floating on a river down into the earth. Whatever imagery, whatever sensation works for you, use it. And if you're not sure, just try one. Yeah. Deeper and deeper. Letting your connection be made with the earth. Again, bring in your awareness and your curiosity. What does the earth feel like beneath you today in this moment? Good. Good. And then allow your awareness, your intention and your attention to drop even more deeply into the earth. If you had traveled down inches or feet before, try moving down into the earth at a pace that works for you, maybe a mile. Yeah. And letting this connection spread out as you descend with your awareness, establishing a deep, deep, connection. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Good. And notice, notice that as you travel deep into the earth, that there is a growing steadiness, steadiness. It's as though in your body, your physical body, above the earth, connected to the earth, but above it, you've gone from being a, a willow tree that's being blown around into an oak tree if that image works for you. Hmm. 
Because as we connect more and more deeply, what begins to happen is that there's a natural filling that happens in our physical body. We don't even have to think about it. Our feet and legs naturally will start to soak up the deep, rich energy field of the earth. Whatever from that level would nourish you most right now begins to soak into your feet, your calves, your knees, your thighs. And remember, as this natural flow from the earth soaks in, remember to welcome it into your bones, your bones of your feet, ankles, calves, knees, thighs. Good. Good. And this soaking, it will also happen all the way out to your skin. Wherever, wherever that connection and that flow is happening, from the core of your bone marrow all the way out to your skin. Allowing for deeper and deeper embodiment for you. Good. Good. And I, in my own curiosity, I'm allowing myself to reach even deeper into the earth and noticing how it feels as it soaks into my pelvis, my lower spine, my digestive tract, my reproductive system, all of the organs in my torso. Notice what you're noticing. As this connection happens, there's a natural flow into your body that's nourishing and nurturing. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and as this flow continues to move in, through your feet and your legs, into your lower torso, up your spine. Notice what it feels like as it reaches your heart, your lungs. With each inhale and exhale, your lungs are gently cradling and hugging your heart, providing it with fresh oxygen. Just as we are providing our inner energy reservoir with sustaining energy from deep in the earth. Good. Allowing your ribs, your chest, your upper spine, your shoulders to fill and be nourished from your bone marrow all the way out to your skin, down your arms into your hands and fingers, Mm. and allowing this continual flow to begin to nourish your neck, your jaw, your face. Eyes, ears, nose, mouth. These sensory organs are particularly important because if you have an enduring challenge in your life, or even a recent one, often our senses feel as though they've been assaulted by something you saw, something you heard, something that was said to you some felt sense. But notice now in this moment, you can allow this part of your being 
ah, to relax and sink in and let whatever has gone by go by. And remember to nourish and nurture this part of who you are so that your nervous system can downregulate, can calm. Yeah. As your cranium, your whole brain, bones, fluids, membranes, as it fills, noticing that if, if we bathe our eyes in the sensations that would nourish them most right now, it will often be followed inside your brain with a sense of relaxation in the visual centers of the brain at the back of your head. So notice, notice. Yeah. You're gifting yourself with these moments at your own inner oasis to refill to do things that are self-loving. Good. And in doing so, you create the ability to shine another day and to feel the deep connection to life and all that is nourishing for you in this moment even though there may be many things around you that are not nourishing and quite challenging. Hmm. Good. Good. So remember that you have the capacity to feel calmer, to feel fuller, to feel energized in times that are draining and perhaps extremely challenging. It's here within you, always, always. You just have to know the path home. You know how to find the oasis, make the connection, feel that flow moving through you again and take the time to do it. Make it a practice so that your life has more of these moments. Good. Good. <laughs> and please, feel free to share. Share this meditation with anyone you know who needs to be resourced right now, who needs a resource that can sustain them no matter where they are, no matter what's happening. So please share it. If you want to, subscribe and enjoy. Above all else, enjoy.